together with us today uh, during this uh, second session of the day is our distinguished guest, uh, Professor Dr. Azizan Ahmad. Ahlan wa sahlan, Professor. Uh, together with us is uh, Professor um, uh, Dr. Azizan. He is the uh, lecturer at the uh, Science and Technology uh, Faculty, uh, the National uh, University of Malaysia. And he is uh, an expert in his own field. Uh, if you were to uh, to read through the profile, subhanallah, it comes in uh, Malay. I need to translate it word by word. But anyhow, uh, he is uh, uh, a very, uh, I would say that it, it is a good uh, role model to the young generation, especially for the a student in the university, how he uh, succeed in his studies and his re uh, in his research, and his uh, he is also visiting lecturer to few universities of, uh, in Malaysia, uh, no, I mean uh, in in uh, throughout the globe, a uh, few university in Japan, uh, in Morocco. So I think uh, without further ado, I would like uh, to talk directly to Prof. Uh, Azizan. Can you tell us about yourself, uh, your background, uh, where do you born, been born, uh, what kind of environment that you are... Sometimes, some people say that uh, normally a success person will always be born in a poor family. Can you tell us and bring us back to your memory line? Okay. From where you begin and everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Khalid. The uh, as a as a chairperson uh, to conduct uh, our session today. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizer for the Umma Summit. I think this is a very interesting uh, summit, which is uh, you know uh, there are many experts right uh, throughout the world, you know, join uh, this uh, Umma Summit. So before I proceed with my presentation today, as I mentioned by Mr. Khalid uh, just now, uh, to you know to tell the back little bit the back, back my backgrounds, how I uh, you know uh, go, uh, to develop myself before. So yeah, uh, I, I, what I can say is uh, my background. Actually, I was born uh, at Kedah, Malaysia, and then uh, the five primary school and secondary school in Kedah also. And then I was born in the poor family because at that, uh, at that time my father is a bus driver and uh, my mother is a teacher, a religious teacher. At that time we are very suffer because of we are living at a village which is uh, just walking to schools. It's about 2.5 kilometers every day. Oh. So during even during the day, for example, uh, raining season, whatever, so we still manage to get to the schools and then come back uh, uh, late, right, uh, due to this uh, problem. So what the very interesting for me actually uh, motivate me why we want to study, to go further study and so on. Actually, when we look back ourselves, right, who want to develop us? So accept ourselves, right. So uh, it sparked in my, my, you know, my heart at that time. I want to be, I want to be the best. And then why I want to be the best? I want to contribute to the nation. So come back. The, I, what I, I want to say is to contribute back to the, back to the community, back to the society. So not only for myself, but when we, we can see the, uh, we come from the poor family. And then we are we stay in surround, uh, surrounding is uh, uh, surrounding us also. They are very very poor. So why not, right? Why not we change our life through education? So this is my philosophy. Okay. So you said just now uh, you being uh, your your family is uh, uh, from a poor background. Yes. And then the surrounding is a, a poor society. Yes. And uh, what is uh, your uh, the first step you take uh, to make yourself uh, good in education. Yes. And uh, where do you go? You go to which university? Yeah. And uh, what? Uh, how do you achieve 
to enter the universe, the good, uh, the good university. Can you yeah. share with us yeah. on that? First of all, I, I I would like to share with all of you. During the study, I sit I sit in front. I always communicate to the teacher. I will always ask. If I not, I'm not understand. I raise my hand and ask. In fact, after school also, I manage to see uh, to see the teacher first. Second is my aim in the class. I want to be the best. In fact, from the primary school, I become a second as a second teacher. If the teacher is not around, I come in front, and then I help all my friends, all my classmates. This is during the primary schools, and secondary school. My aim is to be a scientist. From the year one, at the secondary schools, I want to be a scientist. So that's why I work hard. So I score all the subjects. In fact, in fact, during secondary school also, I become teacher also, because I stay at the hostels, right? So I manage. I have time to with my friends. I teach them, and then I motivate them. Why we want to be the best? So after that, uh, after secondary school, I went to matriculation first year, second year. Also, I work hard, and and then I very committed at that time. Why? Because I want to be a scientist, and then I managed to 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 enter university, and then uh, obtain first class honors for first degree, and then I continue uh, my master, and then continue PhD. I managed to to what uh, to complete my PhD within two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half two years. Two and a half years. Yes, PhD. complete the PhD, oh. and then same times you know produce uh, about eight uh, journal uh, in international journals. Referee general recalls. So I, what I want to say is uh, the philosophy of scientists, the philosophy of us actually that do the best, and later on you contribute to the nation. Do the best. Yes. Uh, when you share uh, while you are at the uh, school, the second, uh, the, the primary school and the secondary school, uh, you share that you are always connected to. To the teacher. Yes. You ask question. Yes. You get the teacher after that. Yes. Uh, and uh, and uh, keep on asking yeah. more to 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 have more clarification. Yes. And if the, the teacher is not there, yeah, you become the teacher. Yeah. So, basically, in order for you to become a uh, uh, expert or you can uh, you be, uh, you want to be uh, well versed in something, you need to get to the resource uh, the, the 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 resources. You need to go to the teacher. Yeah. And directly ask whatever you you need to know, yeah. and after that, you need to teach others. Yes. So, uh, do we need to uh, to seek the knowledge until we get all the knowledge? Then only we teach others. Yes. Do we need to do that, <laughs> or you, or even we don't know something, we can uh, just share with others. Yeah. So, what is your Okay, my opinion is, you know, whatever you have, you share with the others. Whatever you have, even you have a very little one, right? You share as long as a benefit to the community, as long as a benefit to your friends, your classmates, whatever. Please share, because this one you share is become expense, right? This is something encouraging yourself uh, to gain more knowledge, yeah. because you have very little. Why not, right? Mm -hmm. When you share something and you feel that you are not enough, so you are, you 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 is a motivate you yourself to gain more and more. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I come here actually to share with you, which is if you feel that you have everything and enough, you will succeed later on. Uh, just now you said about uh, you your ambition is to become a scientist. Yes. Okay. Uh, Since when you have that ambition? Yes, actually, uh, my 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 ambition is from the from the primary schools, but when I enter secondary school, I become more matured. So at that time, I start to read about the scientists. I start to explore, and then have experience during the class. Mm -hmm. That's why I ask so many questions with the, uh, to the teachers, because I want to know what the meaning behind the subject that you learn in class. So uh, after you you finish your uh, PhD, uh, in what area is yeah. your PhD? Is? Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, 
So uh, my research interest at that time is uh, uh, polymer. Actually, okay. I study polymer, uh, specialized on uh, rubber materials. Mm -hmm. So I managed to 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 what uh, to to uh, to do research and then to publish. And and actually, the the knowledge that I gain is a uh, very very important, especially for the rubber industry, because of uh, my uh, study. My study before actually focused on the uh, the properties of the rubber base, especially when we, when we talk about Malaysia, we Malaysia produce huge of rubber, so that's why I focus on the rubber materials as a material for the uh, for the you know for the any component electronic components, uh, electric components, uh, tire industry and so on. Yeah. So in fact, right now you can see that the rubber base actually can be applied in many many industry. And uh, right now, yeah, uh, what is your uh, research is yeah. right now? Okay, so at the moment, uh, my uh, myself and also my team at university, I develop one research groups, so called polymer ionic research groups. So I have uh, my junior, uh, some of them also my student before. We focus on st uh, st uh, study on the uh, the uh, what so called the, the uh, material for battery developments. Mm -hmm. So for your information, right, and uh, the issue of the lithium ion battery at the moment is easily to explode, mm -hmm. easily to burn. Mm -hmm. In fact, we are not allowed to bring, right. Mm -hmm. Our phones with a certain uh, lithium-ion battery and also the, uh, 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 the, the power bank, for example. Yeah. So the issue, the, the current issue, in fact, uh, since uh, 1990, when they discover about lithium-ion battery, for example, right? So one easy to export. We are actually we do research on how to replace, what kind of the material that we can replace. Which is uh, can protect right the lithium ion battery to explode, for example. So called non. So we are focused on non flammable battery. So we we'll save it in, uh, in terms of safety, very safe, and also a very economics because of uh, my research group. We are using uh, uh, natural resources, which is very cheap, uh, right, and then easily to easily to handle, etc. So so my aim is to save the world. Why? Because the the, the 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 big issue right the big issue in the world is uh, the existing lithium ion battery easily to explode so how to protect right what kind of the material that we should we use uh, in order to overcome the problem okay. so i think uh, uh, even uh, sometimes uh, when we when students would like to uh, look for research area yeah uh, they they don't know which area they would like to yeah. to, to to venture in yeah uh, when you say that your research and your team is providing a solution yes. for problems, yeah. so the keynote of this is to solve other people's problems. Yes. Then we will keep uh, relevant. Yeah. And uh, what is your um, your uh, advice yeah. to young generation of Muslim? Yeah. Maybe sometime when people would like to become uh, a scientist or become a professor or yeah. become a uh, academician. Yes. Uh, young generation said, uh, "I'll be focusing only for research thing. It is not for the community." Yeah. And people will say that uh, becoming a lecture a lecturer is only to to educate the young generation, but not uh, relevant yeah. to the community. Yeah. So I know that your experience also working with. Uh, a lot of uh, community program. Yeah, yeah. So, what is your uh, advice for the young yeah, generation yeah. that love to venture or to l love to to pursue their uh, career yeah. in this line? What is your yeah. Uh, advice? Yeah, this is very yeah, very interesting topics. My advice is actually uh, you have to think to the ummah. You have to you have to listen now. What is the, the uh, what I want to say is to list down the problem statement happening in front of you, in the perspective of science, perspective of community, per perspective of the government, pers per perspective of economy, etc. When once you identify the, the problem statement, right, for sure you will think how to solve the problem. So that that is our how to say this is our responsibility to think first. 
and come up with the solutions. If you can manage yourself, positioning yourself like that, that means you are part of the ummah. If you are not, you you if you are never you never think right, you don't know what the problem statement, mm -hmm. what you are facing right now, right? You are not somebody there. Okay. So what I want to say is start with the idea how to solve the problem, but before that you have to you have to derive, you have to think, you have to write what the existing problem, which is you come in uh, with the solution. So that's why. I want I want to say that when you see in front of you, like for example, I, I said before, right? So we are facing which is lithium lithium ion at the moment easily to explode, right? You think about it, because the whole world suffer about this, right? It is a global uh, global problem. It is a global problem. As a Muslim, right? Actually, you have to contribute something. If you have nothing to contribute, you are not the real Muslim. This is very important. Yes. Uh, if we were to uh, go back to our uh, previous uh, golden era of Islam, yeah. where we have a lot of scholars, a lot of uh, students, yeah. a lot of uh, 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 experts, mm. to compare us now, uh, what is the best solution for the young generation? Yeah. Uh, whether we need just to dream or how? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, uh, uh, I would like to highlight three points today. First is uh, we call this a knowledge commitment. For young generation, they have to have knowledge commitment. Try your best to gain more knowledge, and later later on you will become experts. Without knowledge, I I I'm, I don't want to. I don't want. I I don't know what to say. Without knowledge, we are nothing. Empty can. Uh, empty can, like empty yeah. can, exactly. So the knowledge commitment means, right, try your best. In Arabic, we call tafakkuh, right, in deep. You have a knowledge in deep, right. So the perspective, we, 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 saw the, the, we, uh, we can say this, the perspective is verticals. Vertical means uh, you, you, uh, you, you focus, right, and then you become expert later on. And somebody around you, right, and the world, especially, world will refer to you because you are expert. This is we call knowledge commitment. Second is we call this uh, uh, emotional commitment. What is emotional commitment is you, something that you do come, come from your heart. Not the external force. You this because of because of your friends, because of your your what your classmate, because of your father, because your family, your parents. No, it should come from your heart. Something that you do come from your heart, is become big, mm -hmm. high impact, right? Because come from your heart. So this is we call emotional commitment. So the first is knowledge commitment, second is emotional commitment, and the third one is I would like to say is. For the young generation, especially, A, it attitudes. Attitude is very important. Attitude can be translated, right? Can be translated as what? Is it knowledge? Is it emotional? Attitude is intelligent commitment, right? We call intellectual commitment. You want to develop yourself, you must develop your attitude first. This is intelligent. So, in intelligent is not based on the IQ test. But based on the attitudes. Why? Because attitude contribute your development. Later on, it's about 90%. Rather than knowledge and also emo emotional commitment. So that's why in my class, I always highlight to, to my students. If you right, if you commit, if you 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 if your life based on the knowledge commitment, based on emotional commitment, based on intellectual commitment, wow, you are Somebody like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has so many commitments. That's why from he's only one, right? And become later on Islam spread a uh, two-third of the world. And uh, there is uh, one comment from uh, Kratul Aini. Mm -hmm. I excited to listen about polymer because I studied I study material science. Yeah, uh, so maybe I don't know from where, Sister Kratul Aini. Uh, yes, inshallah, 
uh, after we listen to uh, the last advice by uh, Professor Dr. Zizan, he said about uh, we need to have the knowledge commitment so that we don't become uh, an empty can. Uh, it is not only to talk about uh, things that we don't know, and then uh, at the same time we need to have uh, emotional commitment uh, because the emotion is the one that push our passion and the passion is the one that push ourselves. And then the third one is uh, to have the attitude uh, for uh, to have the intellectual commitment. So we have the um, uh, if we have all these three, inshallah, we will become a good Muslim. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, to Professor Dr. Azizan. Thank you for your time. You, uh, I think it is a very. I think I feel it is very short uh, session that we have. Hopefully, we can have uh, you in our next. Uh, Uh, Umar Samit, inshallah we plan to have it uh, yeah. even uh, twice a year so that we can uh, give inspiration and also to, to to have more role model for us to share with the, the, the Ummah uh, and the young generation. Thank you very much. Uh, inshallah we will come back after this uh, with uh, Dr. Uh, Rana uh, from uh, Jordan uh, and uh, if Dr. Azizan is uh, uh, his research is more towards the polymer, uh, the rubber th and things like that. And Dr. Rana will be, uh, we will be sharing with Dr. Rana, Rana who is expert in micro organism. organism yeah. I'm not a, a science uh, student, but then I can pronounce it uh, uh, properly, inshallah. Inshallah, see you again after this. Uh, and uh, don't, uh, don't uh, end your uh, your mobile phone or please keep your uh, mobile phone uh, charged throughout these days because uh, we will come back after this and we have another few hours to end uh, for today thank you very much see you inshallah assalamualaikum warahmatullah